Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new topic as a part of ABAP programming. And our new topic is classical report events. Now we all know very well what are classical reports in which we are displaying the output using write statement. They are the most, most basic reports in which we use the write statement to display the output. Now, what is event? Event. Remember, event always, always require two things. Whenever you want a event, event always, always require two things. Either we need to perform a action, means whenever we will perform a action, event will trigger at that point of time. And what is second case, event will trigger at specific occurrence. Occurrence means a specific time has been reached or a particular time has been reached at that time event will trigger. So event always, always require two things. Either we need to perform a action. In the second case, we will not perform the action, but event will trigger automatically because a specific time has been reached and because of that event triggered automatically. Suppose simple example. I am doing mouse click. Mouse click means what? I am performing a action. So example of action is mouse click. Suppose I am pressing some key from the keyboard. So at that time, yes, event will trigger. If I will not do mouse click, yes, event will not trigger. If I will not press any key from the keyboard, event will not trigger. So event require action. So the example of action is, yes, just now we took the example of mouse click, pressing any key from the keyboard. Now, second case, event trigger at some specific time also, when that time has been reached. At that time, we will not perform any action, but the event will trigger automatically. Suppose simple example. I am working on my laptop. Suddenly, my laptop throw a runtime error that running out of memory. At that time, I have not performed any action, but a time has been reached, a occurrence has been reached that there is no memory in my laptop. So at that time, without any action, that particular event has been triggered. So event always require two things. Either it require a action or it require a occurrence. Occurrence means a specific time has been reached. Example of your action, whenever you are performing action, suppose mouse click is there, pressing any keyboard key is there. And the example of specific occurrences running out of memory. Now, same concept is applicable to classical report. Classical report. We have so many classical report events. Some event we will perform the action. Some event we will not perform the action. They will trigger automatically when their time has been reached. Suppose simple example. If I will go for the program, this is our classical report program. Suppose I'm running the program. Now, suppose I'm giving a input and I'm pressing enter. So whenever I will press enter, it means I am performing a action. So at that time, some event will trigger. Suppose I'm clicking on to execute button. It means I'm performing a action. So at that time, this event will trigger. One event will trigger. Now suppose simple example. If you see, as of now, these many records are coming in the output. Suppose on a page, I only want 10 records. 
it means on a particular page 10 records will display after that the rest of the records will go to next page but at that time we will not perform any action whenever the record count is increasing by 10 event will trigger and it will shift that data to next page so at that time we will not perform any action based upon 10 records the event will trigger automatically and it will shift that data to next page so same class in classical reports some events triggered by our action and some event requires some event trigger at specific occurrence or we can say a specific time has been reached now the various classical report events are initialization at selection screen start of selection end of selection top of page end of page at selection screen output at selection screen on value request i will add here at selection screen on value request for field field at selection screen on value request for field at selection screen on help request for field and at selection screen on field so total we have this we will cover these total 10 classical report events anyways once the practical will start we will cover all these events one by one so what is the summary of the video in this video we started with classical introduction of classical report event we all know in classical report we are displaying the output through write statement but this event event always always require two things either it require a action or it will trigger automatically when a specific time or occurrence has been reached then we discuss the example suppose action means mouse click keyboard click you are pressing some key from the keyboard and the specific occurrence suppose running out of memory at that time no action it triggered automatically same concept is applicable to classical report in classical report we have so many events some events require action from our end some events will trigger automatically and we have this 10 classical report events initialization at selection screen start of selection end of selection top of page end of page at selection screen output at selection screen on value request for a field at selection screen on help request for field and at selection screen on field in the next video we will start with the practical part of all these events one by one. So that's it in this video. Thank you.